hey guys this is Chuck from patchwork of tips welcome to my youtube channel if you're not subscribed do please kindly click the subscription button down below to get regular updates this is going to be a really a really quick video um, over the weekend i had a stressful time updating my macbook pro to the latest mac os catalina 10.15.1 for some reason the download kept giving up at around um three, three gigabytes showing this error right here an error occurred while downloading the selected updates please check your internet connection and try again after several repeat starts and no luck i decided to look for a solution and quickly found one to get around this it is best to do a direct download of the update from apple servers by going to their download page um, i'm going to leave a link in the description box below to the download page this is the download page support.apple.com slash downloads so when you get there you look for the update in particular this is the one i really wanted to download and uh, you click the download button so once you click the download button and the download starts uh, it's gonna take a while and the download starts and you just wait for it to kind of like complete Now, when the download is complete, what you need to do is simply go to the folder where you have the download. This is the download here. You double click on it. It's going to take a while to like open and run and all that. Okay, you have this. You double click on this as well. And that's it. So here, all you need to do is just follow the prompt, continue, you know, choose where you need to download, um, where you need to install the program and just, um, you know, the regular stuff, continue, continue until you install it. I've already installed the update on my system already. I'm just showing you guys as in what you need to do. By the time you're done, the software would um, tell you that it needs to restart. Just click on that. The system automatically restarts and that's it that's basically all they're used to it now remember if you're going to do an os update it's always best to make sure that your system is connected to a power supply if it's not connected to a power supply please do not proceed make sure you're connected to a power supply then proceed with the update and the update should run just fine personally i think this is how i'm going to be updating my computer from now on because you know the regular software updates tend to give issues and anybody got time for this so hope this was helpful don't forget to please like this video if it helped you and please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.